Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve combination based probability problems. So, combination based probability problem are based around this formula NCR, which is equal to N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial. Here, remember value of NC0 is equal to 1, value of NC1 is equal to N and value of ncn is also equal to 1. So, we know probability it is the ratio of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So, let us consider an example. From a class of 30 students, 4 are to be chosen for the competition. In how many ways can they be chosen? So, out of 30 students, we have to select 4. So, in how many ways we can select the four students from the class that we can calculate by using combination formula. So, to choose the four students from the 30 students, the number of ways in which we can select those four students is 30 C4 and which is equal to total number of outcomes. So, to calculate this 30 C4, we have formula ncr is equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. Now this ncr is also equal to nc n minus r. So to understand this relation, let us consider we have to calculate 30 c 28. So here n is equal to 30 and r is equal to 28. So by using this formula, here it is n factorial means 30 factorial divided by r factorial so r it is 28 so 28 factorial and here n minus r factorial means 30 minus 28 that is 2 factorial and this is also equal to n c n minus r so we can write n is equal to 30 and n minus r that is 30 minus 28 it is 2 so 30 c 28 is also equal to 30 c 2 so for 30 c 2 we can write this formula that is n factorial 30 factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r that is 30 minus 2 20 factorial. So here we will use combination formula to calculate 30 c4. So 30 c4 is equal to 30 factorial divided by n factorial that is 30 factorial divided by r factorial that is 4 factorial into 30 minus 4 26 factorial which is equal to 27,405. So, if you have scientific calculator, then you can directly calculate this NCR value. And if you don't have access of scientific calculator, then here I will explain simple way to calculate the value of NCR. So, to calculate value of 30C4, in numerator, we can start from 30 and we can reduce value 4 times by 1 means at numerator we can write 30 into 29 into 28 into 27 and in denominator we can start from r that is from 4 and we can reduce up to 1 so at denominator 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so if we calculate this then we will get same value that is 27405 so let us consider an example a bag contains 5 green balls and 3 blue balls. 3 balls picked at random find probability that 2 are green and 1 is blue. So there is one bag and in that bag there are 5 green balls and 3 blue balls. So total 8 balls are there. And out of these 8 balls we have to pick 3 balls at random. And we have to find the probability that out of these 3 balls 2 are green and 1 is blue. So here we can write the given data, total number of green balls in the bag 5, total number of blue ball in the bag it is 3 and total number of balls are 5 plus 3 it is 8. Now we have to select 3 ball from the 8. So we know probability is favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So total number of outcomes means the number of ways or number of combination of selecting 3 balls from the 8 balls. So that we can calculate by using NCR formula. So total number of outcomes 
or total number of possible combinations to select three balls from the eight balls it is 8c3 and favorable outcomes means we have to select two green ball and one blue ball so out of five we have to select two green balls and out of three blue balls we have to select one and here it is written and means two green and one blue so we can calculate favorable outcomes as 5c2 into 3c1 so whenever there is and we have to use here multiplication in case instead of and if it is or then in that case instead of multiplication we have to add these two so here probability that two are green so we have to select two from the five so five c2 and one from the three blue so it is three c1 so we can calculate eight c3 by using the formula eight into seven into six divided by three into two into one it is 56 also we can calculate 5c2 and 3c1 so 5c2 is equal to 5 by 2 into 4 by 1 is equal to 10 and 3c1 is equal to 3 so probability is equal to favorable outcomes that is 10 into 3 divided by total number of outcomes that is 56 so probability value is 0 0.536 next example a bag contains 5 green balls 3 blue balls Two balls picked at random find probability that two are green or two are blue. So here it is or. So given data is same and here total number of outcomes that out of eight ball we have to select two balls. So total number of outcomes will be 8C2 and favorable outcomes are two green out of five and 2 blue out of 3 so 5 c2 and as here it is r so we have to write plus sign here so here it is r so plus 3 c2 that is 2 blue out of 3 so we can calculate these values that is 8 c2 it is 8 into 7 at numerator and at denominator 2 into 1 that is 28 similarly 5 c2 it is 5 by 2 into 4 by 1 that is 10 and 3 c2 it is 3 by 2 into 2 by 1 which is equal to 3 so probability it is equal to favorable outcomes that is 10 plus 3 and total number of outcomes that is 28 so it is equal to 0 0.4642 so this is the probability of selecting two green or two blue out of eight balls next example a bag contains five green balls and three blue balls. Four balls picked at random find probability that three are green and one is blue or two are green and two are blue. So here given data is same but here total number of outcomes means we have to pick four balls from the eight balls. So total number of outcomes are 8c4 and favorable outcomes are so you can see here 3 are green so 5c3 so here it is 5c3 and so here it is multiplication 1 blue so out of 3 1 blue so 3c1 so 3c1 then here it is r so plus sign 2 are green so 5c2 5c2 and so multiplication 2 are blue 3c2 so 3c2 here so here we can use ncr formula so 8c4 is equal to 70 and this value is equal to 60 so probability is equal to favorable outcomes that is 60 divided by total number of outcomes that is 70 so probability is equal to 0 0.857 so probability of getting three green ball and one blue or two green and two blue is equal to 0 0.857 now next example a bag contain five green balls three blue balls three balls are picked at random find probability that two are green so here again given data is same but here three balls picked from the eight so total number of outcomes are 8c3 
and here we have to find the probability that two are green so two are green means we have to select three balls and out of these three balls we have to find the probability that two are green means remaining one will be blue so favorable outcomes are 5c2 and one is blue so and means multiplication 3c1 because out of 3 1 will be blue so 3c1 so by using ncr formula we can calculate this 8c3 is equal to 56 and 5c2 is equal to 10 and 3c1 is equal to 3 so probability we can write that is favorable outcome 10 into 3 divided by total number of outcome it is 56 so it is equal to 0 0.536 so probability of selecting two are green it is 0.536 thank you